بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله to proceed brothers and sisters and friends السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I have a very very strong message for everybody today recently we heard that one of our sisters in France in Paris was attacked two racist thugs these two fascist dogs, they ripped off the hijab, the headscarf of the sister, and tried to cut her hair. And she was so worried because she was pregnant. And she said, stop, I am pregnant. And what these fascist, heartless, dishonorable human beings did is that they kicked her stomach repeatedly. And upon kicking her stomach, we now find out that she lost her child. I have a very strong message for everybody. Message number one, our religion, Islam, teaches us to protect all human beings and specifically to protect women, regardless of religion, regardless of ethnicity. A woman is considered as an honor and as dignity and something that needs to be protected. And I tell everybody, any human being with an, an ounce of conscious, an ounce of self-awareness, an ounce of honor. That if they ever see or hear such a thing happening, that they would use any means necessary within the law to try and stop this thing from happening. The second message I have is specifically to the Muslims. These things are happening is because we are not calling people to our beautiful tradition. We're not articulating a positive, compassionate, cogent case for our way of life. We're not interacting with others. We're not delivering this sublime message and these sublime values to the wider society. And I'm telling you, if we start doing this, then maybe we won't see these things happening. Maybe from the hatred that we're seeing in Europe at the moment, it would turn into love or into compassion or into friendship or at least into some form of understanding. This is what the Quran is saying. It says to us that we were made into different tribes and nations that we will know one another. لِتَعَرَفُوا To know one another, which means to know what makes us distinct. Because it's the differences that are the cause of the fear and of the suffering and of the anxiety. But once you show how beautiful this difference is, then maybe from the hatred, it will turn to love. So arise and warn. Talk to people. Engage. Compassionately, in an articulate and positive way to the wider society.